it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, we're out here with a special edition of Wethead Pump Repair TV. It's my boy Robert. How you doing, man? Chris good. Going? All right, so what's so special about this episode? We're not in the dollhouse. All right, for some of you watching, there's like this inside joke that me and Robert live and work in a dollhouse. But well, we don't live in a dollhouse, and uh, there's actually a big yard. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you the difference between Hayward Super Pump motor bearings. Now we get a ton of emails, right? Mm -hmm. A ton of people on the forum, a ton of people throwing stuff at Robert. No, not really. And people are like, oh, I heard from my machinist that this Hayward Super Pump has two 6203s. But then I heard my friend who has a Century motor that it's a 6204 and this and that. So we're gonna go through all these, okay? Over the years, Hayward and the Super Pump people have made great pumps, but they've switched motors a couple times. So we'll show you this first motor here. This is a Hayward Super Pump one horsepower, okay? And then you have the second pump here, which is actually, we're actually rebuilding this pump, believe it or not, right? And we'll show you another video how this thing runs. This is a Hayward Super Pump uh, two horsepower. And then this is, these are both AO Smith motors. And then this third one here is a Hayward Super Pump self priming AO Smith motor, but a short and stubby one, okay? So what we're gonna do first is, well first, Robert will roll this down a little. We're gonna first take apart this two horsepower right here. I'm gonna show you what bearings are inside this motor. So obviously we have three, you loosened everything so we don't have to make you sit here for like 15 minutes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we don't want that. So Robert's gonna move the housing. Okay. Now, on the rear of this two horsepower, you can see there's a 6203 bearing right there. Okay. We'll take off the front end bell. So if you're wondering how to take off the front end bell, oh, I've directed you here from a forum post. Here's the part you were looking for. You want to tap this just like this. Just like that, it comes loose. Now, the two horsepower. Okay, there's a 6204 bearing in the front, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see that right there. So here's video proof. A lot of people say, how do I know it's really there? Are you sure you're selling me the right parts? Well, we're up to like 162 videos or 170 videos on YouTube. So we're showing you once again, 6204 bearing in the front and a 6200 bearing in the back. So 6203 in the back and a 6204 in the front. This is for the Hayward two horsepower AO Smith motor. All right, Robert, we'll put that over there on the side for us. Okay. The next pump, the A.O. Smith Stubby Black Motor, right? We've seen this one in a lot of pumps. Maybe, maybe you've bought a replacement for yourself. All right, so we're gonna pull out the rotor, okay? Once again, here is a 6203 in the back of this pump. And we'll take off the front, make sure Robert took out the screws. So now the front end bowl's off. You will see that this motor has a 6203 in the front and a 6203 in the back. So if you're wondering what bearings go in your black stubby AO Smith motor, 6203 in the front and 6203 in the back. All right, so I'll put this one back in here for now. And we'll get to the third one. All right, Robert's gonna bring us the third one. The third one is a, what is this puppy? This is a one and a half horsepower. A.O. Smith motor. We'll pull the rotor out. Pull off the water sling. Okay. Make sure the bolts are out of the front. Take off the front end though. We got the water sling right there. And the little bolt retainer. Put this here. It's a great place if you work on your pump. Use the end bell cover. All right, so one and a half horsepower, as me and Robert just showed you. A.O. Smith motor. There's a 6203 bearing in the back and a 6203 bearing in the front. Okay, so you see that? Once again, 6203 in the back and a 6203 in the front. This is from the one and a half horsepower. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can rewind the video, play it back as many times as you want. If you'd like to order parts, you can go to wetheadpumprepair.com or wetheadpumpsupply.com. I want to thank you very much for coming to the video again. Yep. All right, man, take it easy. And uh, we'll see you soon. So once again, if you have any qu comments, you can come to forums.wetheadpumprepair.com and leave a question. Um, we sell all these motor bearings, we have them all in stock, and we'll ship them right out to you. And if you don't want to do it yourself, we have a mail-in pump repair service and where we could repair the motor and pump for you for $149. Alright, this is Joe Tamargo from Wethead Pump Repair. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.